Barack Obama has returned to Indonesia, his childhood home, for a much-anticipated visit. On day four of his swing through Asia, the US president heaped praise on Indonesia's tolerant and diverse society. During his visit to the Muslim nation, Mr Obama used a high-profile speech to launch a closer partnership with his counterpart, Susilo Bangban Yudhoyono. Indonesia correspondent Matt Brown reports from Jakarta. Indonesia, President Obama declared, is a part of him. Indonesia, bagian dari diri saya. The most powerful man in the world won friends here, reflecting the humility of his boyhood on the streets of Jakarta. And I learned to love Indonesia while flying kites and running along the paddy fields and catching dragonflies, buying sate, bakso from the street vendors. On the business end of this trip, Barack Obama and Indonesia's president, Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, launched a comprehensive partnership between their two nations. President Yudhoyono lauded the agreement with the US. However, China has eclipsed the US as a trading partner here, and Mr Obama is struggling to make up ground. Uh, we're number three right now in terms of trade volume and investment, and I informed him we don't like being number three, we want to be number one. This morning, the president toured Jakarta's Istiklal Mosque, the largest in Southeast Asia, serving the largest Muslim population in the world. I hope the relation between uh, USA and uh, Muslim world is uh, growing uh, very nice, inshallah. In his keynote address, Mr Obama praised Indonesia's culture of relative religious tolerance, a culture often under assault by Islamic hardliners. This is not to say that Indonesia is without imperfections. No country is. But here we can find the ability to bridge divides of race and region and religion. That ability to see yourself in other people. After a visit lasting less than 24 hours, Barack Obama's eyes are now back on the much bigger picture and the G20 meeting in Seoul. Matt Brown, ABC News, Jakarta.